In our last video, we talked about using equivalent fractions to find common denominators. In this video, we're going to be using, uh, using two other strategies for finding common denominators. One of those strategies is the least common multiple of the denominators. And this, the other strategy is quick common denominators. For our first sample problem, we're going to do 1 sixth plus 4 ninths. And we know that you cannot add fractions together when the denominators are not the same. For the least common multiple strategy, we're going to start by finding multiples of both of the denominators. And I like to start by doing three or four of each, uh, depending on the numbers and depending on what we find. So for six, the first three to four multiples of six are six, 12, 18, and 24. Then we're going to come down here to 9, and our first multiples of 9 are 9, 18, 27. I don't need to go any farther than that because I can see that 18 is the least common multiple, the smallest multiple that's the same for both 6 and 9, and I'm going to use that least common multiple as my common denominator for both the fractions. Now, I need to make equivalent fractions, and to do that, we're going to multiply both the top number and the bottom number by the same number. And in this case, 6 times 3 is 18. So I have to do the same thing to 1. 1 times 3 is 3. So 1 6 equals 3 18 Down here, we're going to multiply by 2 over 2, because two, 9 times 2 is 18. 4 times 2 is 8. Then my next step is just to add, add those numerators together. 3 plus 8 is 11. And our denominator stays the same, 18. So 1 6 plus 4 9 equals 11 18 now we're going to use that same strategy over here so we're going to do 1 6 plus 4 ninths for this for the quick common denominator to find our common denominator we're going to multiply the two denominators together. So we're going to multiply 6 times 9 and we're going to get 54. Then we're going to go through the same thing here. So for the bottom one, we're going to multiply by 6 over 6 because 9 times 6 is 54. 4 times 6 is 24. At the top, we're going to multiply by 9 over 9. 6 times 9 is 54, 1 times 9 is 9. Then, since we have the common denominator, we can add our fractions. 9 plus 24 is 31. Excuse me, not 31. It is 33, 54. As you can see, uh, these numbers are quite a bit bigger than the numbers over here. My preferred strategy is to use the least common multiple strategy as opposed to the quick common denominator. And the reason for that is it just keeps the denominator smaller and a little bit more manageable for when we um, come across more advanced problems. Neither method is better or worse than the other. Least common multiple is just my preferred way of doing that. We're going to do one more set of examples here, and our first sample problem is going to be 3 fourths plus 5 eighths. So again, if we start with the least common multiple, so we'll find the multiples of 4 and 8 for this one. We don't have to go very far because 4, 8, 8 is already going to be our least common multiple. So we can make our equivalent fractions. 
3 fourths times 2 over 2 is going to give us 6 eighths. And 5 eighths times, well, we don't even need to multiply anything here because it stays the same. So it's going to be 5 eighths equals 5 eighths. And then 6 eighths plus 5 eighths equals 11 eighths. Now you notice when we do this problem, we have an improper fraction. The numerator is bigger than the denominator. Depending on the expectation of the problem, we, you may need to turn this into a mixed number. To do that, we can take 11 divided by 8 because fractions are division problems. And there's 1 8 in 11. We subtract our 8 and we get 3. So our remainder would be 3. The quotient is the whole number. The remainder becomes our numerator. And the divisor is our denominator. So 1 and 3 eighths equals 11 eighths. For a quick common denominator for this problem, if we had started again with 3 fourths, Start again with 3 fourths plus 5 eighths. For a quick common denominator, again, we multiply the two denominators together. So our common denominator for this problem will be 32. Three fourths times 8 over 8 is 24. 24 30 seconds and 5 eighths times 4 over 4 is going to be 20 20 30 seconds 24 30 seconds plus 20 30 seconds is 44 30 seconds and again if we turn that into a, a mixed number we would do 44 divided by 32 and there's one group of 32 and 44. We subtract that 32 and we get 12. So our, our mixed number for this one is going to be, the quotient is a whole number, the remainder is the new numerator, and the divisor is the denominator. So the denominator doesn't change. And as you can see, 44, 30 seconds equals 1 in 12 30 seconds. We're not going to talk about simplifying it all in this video. Uh, that will come up later on. Uh, let me know if you have any questions, and we'll see you in the next video.